Okay, so looking at uh, attempted yet not yet learned from objective 2.1 is what students are currently working on. So it looks like about a fifth, a little more than a, a fifth, maybe a sixth. I guess a sixth of the students who have attempted it have not completed it. Uh, so five, six, half. But let's do this one. I have, don't have a video on this. Let's click on that. And we're going to come here. I'm going to walk through this. Draw Lewis structure for the chlorine molecule. I did one of these in class yesterday. So let me take a snapshot of it. Let me go over to my whiteboard and open this guy up. File, add image, come down here, oh, open. Okay, all right. So let's come here and make sure we got red. Okay, so draw the Lewis structure for a chlorine molecule. For a chlorine molecule, all right. So, in order to do that, we're first of all have to draw all the atoms and assume that's all the cores, right? And assume uh, symmetry in the beginning, right? So then we, after we draw the atoms, now we're going to draw the valence electrons. And so I'm going to go one, two, three, four, five, six, seven. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. Now I chose sort of my pattern for that, uh, just thinking that, all right, we're going to put the the unpaired in between the two of course it doesn't matter where you choose them it becomes it's easier if you if you coincidentally get the right place in the beginning we can always uh, sort those later all right so first thing I'm gonna do is I'm gonna come here and I'm gonna erase two electrons and make a bond right because in a chlorine molecule you assume there's a bond there right and a bond is made of two electrons. More specifically, it's made of two valence electrons, right? They're covalent. Okay, so let's come over here and that's actually, let's erase, um, in a smaller eraser, pardon me. Let's go here. Okay, let's erase that guy, let's erase that guy. And let's come back now and redraw those two electrons as a bond. Okay, so I have just as many electrons here as I did before. So now that I've done that, I'm going to go through and evaluate. I'm going to use a different color. I'm going to circle all the valence electrons for this atom and evaluate it based upon the octet rule. Two, four, six, eight. Oh yeah, he's good. All right, now let's do another one. I'll choose a different color. Let's do the other atom. Two, four, six, eight. Ooh, boom. Okay, so it looks like this is it. Looks like this is the uh, Lewis structure of the chlorine molecule. So again, what I did was I started out by drawing all of the cores, that is the atoms, and I didn't draw the core electrons. I first of all, drew them, and I and I drew them in some position that I thought might might end up being a good molecule, okay? Well, there's only one orientation for two atoms, right? It's gotta be next to each other. And then I drew all the valence electrons. First draw the core. Then I drew all the valence electrons. And then I rearranged everything. Rearranged all the, the valence electrons. And then I evaluated based upon the octet rule. Okay, if they weren't good, I would have to rearrange again. So I'm sort of going through steps three and four as an iterative process. All right, hope that's helpful.